right to left. There were many warehouses up here on the hill. All of that was taken out. The Salvation Army, our homeless shelter here, was completely destroyed. Experience. Uh, I think the experience going down and just seeing the people and actually being able to help them out, you know, whether with the house we built on Friday, with the kids who were volunteering with uh, we had to sort it through supplies and all that and donations. But I think it's actually meet them, actually see the people, see for in person the actual destruction of what happened. You know, it, sinks, it hits a lot deeper, it hits harder than what you see in the news or pictures or so. Yeah. Straight down. There you go, straight down. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that a pain in the butt? <laughs> there you go. You want to go work out? You got it, buddy. <laughs> And uh, we've had the, some Kent State football player. Uh, uh, guys, there's a lot of things they could do. I will just tell you, I told them normally. Actually, I saw the quarterback. What? What's your name again? Spencer. I said, Spencer, it's good to see you. I suspect next time I see you, it won't be in such good terms. Do <laughs> you think you'll, you'll look at it a little differently when you go back down the second time to actually play the game? Or, or will it be actually you know, business as usual that you're going down to play? I think it's business. You know, I mean, we, in the back of our minds, we all know what happened. We all helped out and would love to see the improvements, you know, yeah. of, of how far along it's come, you know, in the next month or so. But we get on that, that plane, we fly down to Tuscaloosa. It's, it's business. It's, it's time for a game. After we were helping the kids, I was talking to one of the kids, and he was about 14, and just he told me that he lost one of his friends in the tornado. And I know at that young of an age, to lose a friend like that, it's a <clears throat> it's a real devastating blow. And to see him kind of, he's still upbeat, and he has a good attitude about it, and he stays positive, which was, which was one of the, the good things that I saw. We are so incredibly grateful. Out of all the things you could have done, uh, we are so thankful that you chose uh, to serve with us. Um, to help us serve um, the Rose and the Dowlings, uh, two families that lost everything uh, when those storms came through here. And uh, we couldn't do this without you. Because um, one day you may have something, the next day you may not. We work with the kids. You know, a lot of those kids had lost friends and lost family members and also lost their homes. And they're at a young age. You know, they may not know, you know everything that's going on right now, but they still are affected by it. So it just helps you, you know, to not think, not take things for granted. I think one of the biggest things to take away from it is actually seeing these, you know, mass amounts of people who don't know each other, don't know the people that were affected by it, may live in the state of Alabama, may live other parts of the country. I mean, there was a map of people coming all across the United States or all around the world to donate, to help out, and all come together and work together. All come together, you know, as a team, you could say, to help out with people, you know, to better their lives, to better the situation of the city and all the people that were affected by it. So, I mean, we bring that back here, you know, saying we're all brothers, we all work every day together, different sides of the ball or whatnot, but to come together as a team and work as, work as a one.